Welcome, welcome everybody back to the Turfy Show. How the hell are you on this fine Saturday night? I am the John Man, and to the other direction is Miss Mary. The part was Miss Mary. Marvelous, sure, yeah. I don't. I'm not sure if it's the volume levels or not, but both of us are a little out of my headphones, so it could be my headphones. It's just your headphones. Okay. Thank you. Because if we're th- if we're both loud, then that's good. Better. Better. Well, anyway, how the hell are you, Mary? I am well. Yeah. Yeah. Yourself. Uh, pretty good. Um, just uh, another Saturday of working around schedules and other people's plans but other than that pretty good other than that other than that i mean i guess that's uh that's our life now Mm -hmm. without like getting too far into it i suppose yeah because we are committed (laughs) to not discuss on the podcast because we don't want our whole podcast to be us bitching about our life slash family because we could Mm -hmm. every single time Mm -hmm. we do this podcast we could bitch about our our lives and families And it would be the same shit, just a different scenario. But what we would like to tell you about today on this fine day is our trip to, uh, well, we actually, our trip was to somewhere in the middle of fucking Montana. Uh Uh, But we're, we'll, we're, we'll start out with our leg to, uh, Yellowstone. Yeah. So Mary has been trying she planned this trip with one of her friends for like months months yeah months like it's a co-worker we've been trying to meet up um he's really into overlanding outdoorsy stuff and i'm like oh yeah like we'll definitely we need to hit a trail like you and my husband will get along great uh we should definitely meet up like this will be a great time so i'm like okay like we finally made it happen um his wife only has sundays off he normally works Sundays. We There's three Saturdays out of the month that John and I can't hang out. So it was like literally like, I don't know, like chemistry on a board. Yeah. Like with our calendars. It's to like, the stars finally aligned. Right. So I was like, okay, cool. Fuck it. It's going to be November. We're, we will be there. If it snows, we can't do a trail. And if it snows too bad, like we may have to um like reschedule but let, let's at least like fucking try so i was like okay this will be great john's never been to west yellowstone the town like we'll go we'll walk around the shops uh we went like we went saturday he's like we'll spend the night we'll get up early go meet my friend another two hours from west yellowstone yeah so it was it was like a a middle of the road like stop, stop and from yeah. where we were going. So I was like, well, let's take some extra time because he, you know, he'd never done it. And uh fucking true Mary fashion. Although I before we tell this story, I would like it to be noted. All right. That the hotel was pretty good. The hotel was good. So the hotel was actually nice. Everything else was true Mary fashion, but the hotel, I did good. Yeah, I mean, the drive up there was nice, though. Yeah, it was nice. We had a good time. I mean, it was nice to get into what was, I don't know, familiar scenery. Yeah. Like, being in, like, a wooded area, trees, green. green. It was really nice. Like, I appreciated that. Uh, And then going to, like, some... I loved seeing, like, uh, so on the Idaho side of West Yellowstone, they have signs letting you know when the trees were planted, because they've been, like... They they probably clear cut it and then like I I don't really plant or maybe story. like forest fire I don't fucking know yeah it's probably something I should Google yeah but all along the road right like every few miles or so there's like a sign that tells you when those trees were planted and like some of them I think the 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 oldest one was like 1960 or something like yeah that. it was like 68 I thought 62 yeah. 68 um. And so Which it, was cool. Yeah, it was fun to be like, oh my gosh, okay, that's how old those trees are, and it's crazy. Like, there were some trees that weren't very tall, and they were as old as me, and I'm old. Um, and so it it was cool to see, like, when those trees were planted, and, like, the growth pattern. I never thought I'd be this person. Um, 
but talking about trees. But it was really cool to see, like, oh, shit, those trees were, you know, planted in 1986, and they're only that tall, but then there's, like, some baby trees in there that are, like, struggling to keep up, but they're still, like, good trees. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It was cool. So on the Idaho side, they had those signs. So that, I, I, that was probably, like, a highlight of my, like, driving. Yeah. I mean, that that was really cool. And, it, and I got to see, like, this, I guess, in this part of Idaho where we're at, I guess you could say like a famous, <laughs> if you would call it that, like a famous part of the state, right? And look, because everyone always talks about it. Everyone always fucking talks about it. Everyone always fucking goes to it. And I've never been there, Island Park. Oh, you've never been there? You've no. like never vacationed there or nothing? No, never. But I've oh. always heard people talk about it. Okay. And I was like kind of excited to like drive past it because. To see. To see, because like to see what all the fucking hype's about, right? And. We're driving up on it. It was like pretty scenery. It was really fucking cool. And then drive past it. I was like, what the fuck is there to do here? There is nothing. <laughs> there is literally nothing. There's a couple trees. I see a couple cabins in the in the over yonder over there. I see one like little probably a staple of fucking Island Park, which is like this big convenience store slash restaurant slash gas station. It's probably like the the one stop shop for Island Park, right? And I was, like, kind of fucking disappointed. Oh. We'll have to go up and, like, float the river or go fishing or rent a cabin for the weekend. Well, I I just, I don't know. I Like, what did you envision? Kind of like a Leavenworth or Jackson Hole, something that had some substance to it because everyone always talks about it yeah i could see or you would be disappointed then yeah uh island park is definitely like well because when anyone talks about it like oh they go to the cabin going to island park it's so much fun gonna do this gonna do that gonna do this and that and it's like okay you know that sounds like a jackson or or leavenworth like you have a cabin on the outskirts and then like this booming fucking tourist or you know like shopping type city no, and it wasn't that. Which it, it, they're having a hard time with development because like everybody's bought up all the land there, so there really isn't any land for people to buy. Yeah, because it's all national forest around it. Mm-hmm. I mean, which makes sense. Mm-hmm. I was just that's what I was thinking. Island Park was okay, like an Aspen, Colorado. Like when you watch Dumb and Dumber, mm-hmm. like forever ago, the movie, and mm-hmm. they're they're going to Aspen, Colorado, and they finally get there, and it just looks like this fucking awesome place to visit. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. I thought like Island Park was gonna be. Because everybody fucking talks about it. That's fair. That that is fair. I could see how that would be disappointing. Um. I mean, yeah, the place we stopped is definitely like the staple. Like I tell you, I'm like, that's how I know I'm in Island Park. We stop at this <laughs> gas station. I mean, which is cool. You know, that's yeah. fine. Like, I guess no judgment. You know, I just, I thought it was gonna be a lot more than what it was, and and I'm sure like there's fun stuff to do like there maybe a lot of outdoorsy stuff okay yeah it's all outdoorsy flooding the river fishing snowmobiling hunting hiking i mean to me that's like uh maybe a long weekend or just a regular weekend trip so that's mainly what they do like they own cabins up there and then they go up for like a long weekend or the weekend Uh uh-huh so that's basically the the gist of it i don't know i mean island park's cool but it's not like my go-to destination i mean you i would way rather go to jackson like you've been there a few times right yeah Yeah. like uh what did you do when you were there um when i went with my dad i would go snowmobiling Sledding or huckleberry picking. Okay. Um, I went with my friends once, and we took boys to her grandparents' cabin when I was in high school. Um, I went with my cousins this summer. We floated the river, rented the cabin. Uh, the cabin we rented was on a lake. Okay. So, hung out by the lake. Um... 
Yeah, I mean, that's really, like, the extent of everything that I've done there. It's really been more of, like, a camping-style trip. Um, you don't really go there to, like, shop or, like, buy things or go to restaurants. Like, it's definitely is, like, you need to provide all your own food. Um, <laughs> that, you know, like, uh, ponds, like, you can at least get lunch at ponds. And they have a pretty good menu, but... Um, you can get what? Lunch. Lunch? Yeah. Lunch at ponds? What did you say? Okay. Ponds is the place we stopped. Oh, okay. There was the restaurant, gas station, convenience store. They have pretty good food. Okay. Um, But, like, outside of that, like, yeah. Uh, I went to a bar there. How's the bar? Um, I walked in with a beer that came from my cabin, and I walked out with a beer that came from the bar. So not bad. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess there's there's some upside, I suppose. I guess I guess what you're going to have to do is take me up there. and. Uh, I don't know that I'm the right person to take you, to be honest. No, probably not. Um, no. I mean, we are a little indoorsy. We are. So, so Island Park, we... Went through. John's apparently disappointed by it. Uh, I, I do want to take you up and float that river, though, this next summer. For okay. sure. Like, it's a good river to float. Um, it's honestly, like, the perfect river to float. You go, like, so slow. It's never deeper than, like, knee deep for me, and I'm five foot. Right. Um, right. It's, like, three hours long. You just, like, chill. And then you get out by that gas station convenience store. Ponds? Yeah. All right. Um, so it's a pretty cool float. All right. We'll, um, we'll check it out then. We'll... So, I mean, like, that would be fun, like, to do a day trip and go up and do that. I probably wouldn't rent a cabin for that because it's fucking expensive. If you don't own a cabin up there, like, you're paying out the ass to stay up there. Oh, are you really? Is it all Airbnb stuff or is it just? Yeah. So for uh, the bachelorette party. For that weekend, we paid five thousand dollars. Holy shit! Yeah. See, I, and that's where I'm like a little. I don't want to say like weirded out, but like when shit's that expensive, like I expect it to some be Jackson. Amenities. Some amenities. I expect it to be Jackson Hole, like having a cabin or Leavenworth or or Leavenworth or fucking somewhere that I could walk down the street and you know like pub crawl or fucking go to some hot springs. Like, do some shit. Oh, yeah. It was a hike for us to get to the bar. All right. So, I, we did some shady shit to get to that bar. I don't know if that place is for me. Probably not. You probably would have been so, like, actually, if you saw what we traversed through with all those young girls, you'd be like pretty upset with me that I didn't have like bear spray with me. Oh, really? Yeah. That bad. Like, oh, yeah. We crossed a river. Jeez. <laughs> And, on a log <laughs> and, and that doesn't in that, the dark that sounds like fun i suppose i mean it's a good time i'm sure i'm sure that was fun it was an experience but i i don't know like if i'm gonna go to like one of those destination towns like <laughs> i want it to be a destination like if you're spending that much money you yeah. want like amenities yeah i want like either a cabin like right next to the city to where i can walk down and do all the stuff you know because when, when we spent our time in leavenworth yeah like, like that was an awesome, awesome time. So it's Leavenworth without the city. Okay. Well, that's kind of boring. Yeah, but the cabins are like the cabins we stayed in. So. Yeah. Okay. Um, so like the one we stayed in this last summer had a water slide into the lake. Well, that's kind of fun. We, well, we weren't able to do it, though. Why not? Um. Well, we couldn't figure out how to hook it up. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> and, but but it's available if you knew how to hook it up. Yeah. Well, I guess that would be fun. Like, if you get a big group of friends, yeah. I guess that that would be fun. And it was kind of one of those situations where it's like, well, we've been on the water all fucking day because we had just got done floating the river. And it was like these huge tubes. Think like, like actual water slide, like at your local mis- municipality that has like a water slide. Mm-hmm. They were that big. So it was like, uh, do all of us girls really want to try to like lift that into place? You had to like lift it off the ground and put it in. Um, cause that was part of it. You had to drain it, take it apart when you left. Um, 
and set up the pump, and we were like, eh, we've been on the water all fucking day. Let's just have some beer. I mean, to be fair, like, if you're spending that much money, they should at least set it up for you, and all you have to do is turn on the fucking pump. I agree, but... Yeah. Anyway, moving on. Um, so anyway, we so on our trip this last weekend, we went through Island Park, and then we went into Yellowstone, which Yellowstone, the city... Um, cause I used to go up there all the time as a kid. They have this coffee shop. They have decent, like, I am a fucking sucker for tourist shops, like main strip, like go through every store and just like window shop. Like it's one of my favorite things to do. I mean, you never buy anything. Sometimes. Sometimes. But you know, uh, yeah, I like to do that too. Cause it's, it's, it's fun. fun. It's just fun. Just to wander yeah. through. Yeah. Um, that and, and like, if you, if you have plans for the night, it's like a really, good time it's it's a good thing to pass the time with. yeah like it's a good activity and then you get dinner lunch and then you go out to the bar or go do whatever you're gonna do mm-hmm. um so i was like fuck yeah like this is gonna be fucking awesome like john's never been here i'm excited to take him to this cafe shop they have like a good like half mile of like touristy shops and like a little i wouldn't even call it a mall but we're gonna call it a quote-unquote mall for it's like a strip yeah it's like a strip mall and so I was like, fuck yeah, like, John's gonna love this. Like, we love doing this stuff together. And um, they have, like, quite a few, like, decent restaurants. Like, this town gets hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people every year. Because it's right at West Yellowstone's entrance. Like, literally, um, you have to start the West Yellowstone Park through this town. So I was like, this will be perfect. We're gonna go to West Yellowstone. We're gonna spend the night. We're gonna go shopping. So I booked as a hotel, get to the hotel. Well, put this in perspective. The national park gets 3.29 million visitors a year. And that was in 2022. Okay. And there's only three entrances into the park. And like, that's the main one. And that's the main one. So let's just call it. They get fucking busy. They get busy. Like it's popping. So we pull into town and I I expected it to be quieter because it is the off season. It's winter. But I didn't expect to see signs that said, see you in May. Yes. And I'm starting to get, like, a little stressed out because I'm hungry. And we Googled this shit before because when we were booking the hotel, we are like, all right, we're going to get this hotel because right in front of the hotel, there's, like, a pub. Bar. Pub bar that like we could pretty much just burgers, fucking camp like, out and hang yeah, out. Like, and get some food. Start off the day. Mm-hmm. So, and, I, and the further we get in town, I'm like, oh, okay. And then I see one, like, restaurant bar open. I'm like, okay, well, at least we can get some food. Hmm. Like, worst case scenario, we'll come back to this place and we'll eat buffalo. No big deal. Um, to be fair, I didn't know I was eating buffalo until after. Yeah. It's all right. Um, but, uh, so then we get to the hotel and... We're the only car in the parking lot. <laughs> well, as we're driving the hotel, like I'm expecting, like, because this these are the exact words that came out of Mary's mouth. It's like a mini Jackson, and it is. And so I was expecting that mini Jackson vibe of kind of being like people walking the streets, cars, you know, more than one car, like at a stoplight. Okay, we're going to go this summer. Like, people, like, walking around. The, like, And I didn't see anybody. I didn't see anybody. There was nobody. I didn't see people walking around. I don't think I saw a car. And then we pulled our, into our hotel, and, like, we are the only fucking car parked in the hotel parking lot. Like, the employee got there at the same time we did. So let us into our hotel room. Which was nice. Yet... Total side note, I think I'm going to start booking us Best Westerns. Not sponsored. Um, Because they are, like, within that, like, affordable price range that I like to stay in. But they've been, like, the cleanest, cheap hotel that we've stayed in. Yeah, and they're usually pretty decent. Yeah. they're And they're always close to something. Yeah, like, they're always close to what we're trying to do. The thing I like the most, too, is crazy. Okay, so you, if you guys are longtime listeners, you know we were in Denver last month, month before last. September. Okay. We were in Denver in September, spent an ungodly amount of money per night on a hotel. The hotel had stained sheets. The bathroom was kind of gross. 
Like, it just was not clean. Our elevator had padded walls. Like, and we spent some money on that hotel. Like, I expected, like, five-star fucking service. Yeah. And the Best Western we stayed at was better service. It was cleaner. It had better amenities as far as, like, the facilities. Like, the pool was actually open. Yeah. Um, Like, what good is it to advertise you have a rooftop pool if your pool isn't even fucking accessible for use? Yeah. So, anywho, I, I really think I'm going to start, like, looking for Best Western. You know what? One day, hmm. since we travel a lot and we podcast moderately, one day we'll get a sponsor from them. <laughs> That'd be awesome. I, I no. honestly am a fan because the other because we stayed at a Best Western in Utah too, and that one was really good. Yeah. But here's the thing, Best Western. If you're listening to me, I know we're conserving water, but oh. this is my one complaint about your hotels. Your toilets don't flush very well. No, and I take big shits. Yeah. I take big shits, and like, I feel like when you. When I poop at a Best Western, I feel like I have to get the plunger out just to break up the poop, so hopefully it goes down. It takes, like, three flushes. Yeah. Like, just being. And, like, sometimes, like if it's a long log and it's solid, like, it'll just fucking circle around the bowl. Mm-hmm. You just gotta, and you have to, like, hold it down and just wait. And then sometimes you have to be like, okay, I'll come back to you in 15 minutes when the water's filled back up. Like, I don't yeah. know what else to do. Like, it was so bad. It was so bad. I blew my nose, threw it in the toilet, flushed the toilet. I know. I'm a terrible person for not throwing in the trash. But sometimes I throw it in the toilet and flush it down there. And it wouldn't even fucking Go down. flush the fucking toilet paper I used to blow my nose. Yeah. It's like, get some fucking better toilets. So that is my one complaint, because we had that same issue in Utah, too. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, and, but I know we're conserving water, but maybe not. Like, let's find a happy medium. So, anywho, we get to the hotel. We're the only fucking people staying in the hotel. There was one other person there, because I saw them the next morning. Do you have pouches in your room? No. Okay. A dead battery. I don't have a battery in my room, either. Upstairs. Uh, I'm going to go grab one real quick. Okay. So, um, we, we get to the hotel. We start, like thinking oh shit like who knows what's actually gonna be open because clearly this is off season there's like nobody in town so we go down we talk to the front desk person she's like yeah honestly i would like visit our website to see like what months things are open like this is the like in between season so apparently like you have your like spring summer season and then fall they're super dead because um, that's when the park closes, which we did not know. I'll get to that portion of the story. Uh, that's when the park closes. And so they, like, die um, with, like, shopping and hotels and all that. And so then it picks back up, like, December, January. Slows back down February, March. Because um, winter sports, like the snowmobiling, the snowshoeing, whatever have you, is when it gets, like, picks back up again. So we're like literally um trying to look on their website cross referencing and that place would be like they they would say open but then if you called them they wouldn't answer their phone. So we're like oh shit like hopefully we can find somewhere to eat. So we found two places to eat. Um and basically well we really found one place to eat which is good we didn't go to the other one cuz their kitchen wasn't working anyway. Well, I was about ready to say you lied. We only found one place. To yeah, eat. we found one. Well, place. we thought we found one place to eat. Yeah, we thought closed. we found two, but it, one was closed. So we were like, okay, well, this is where we're eating, I guess. Um, which it turned out fine. Like it was a fun place to go. Um, all locals. All locals, like definitely, all locals. Um, we ate buffalo. Mm-hmm. And my pot roast was fucking amazing. Yeah, I mean, it was good food. It was good food. I've had buffalo before. Yeah. Um, but I had the meatloaf and it was good. Yeah. Like I eat it again. Mm-hmm. I would. I would too, actually. The only thing that would make me apprehensive is my belly was pretty tore up the next day, but I don't know if it's because of the food or because of the booze. Yeah, uh, but 
I mean, it could be a combination of both. But to be fair, that day that we ate the buffalo, we did little to no eating the day before and the day of. Yeah. Or the day after. Or the day after. Yeah, we're not very good at eating. No, we're not. But, I mean, the buffalo was good. Um, and a thing that we, may, maybe Mary already knew this, but I did not, um, going into that restaurant is there was a casino in there. I did know. You did? Yeah, there's casinos, like, everywhere in Montana. So this is the first time I've ever been to Montana. Okay, okay. I did not know. And then, like, we went to the Buffalo, mm -hmm. which is, like, a restaurant. We got our drinks, and I was, like, there was a casino in there. I was, like, fucking casino. Okay. Or not casino, but slot machines. Mm -hmm. And apparently there's slot machines in, like, every bar, establishment, hotel, fucking. A lot of gas stations. Gas Napa. stations and shit. Yeah. Which I thought was odd. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was fun. I haven't gambled like gambled in years, mm -hmm. so of course, like Mary and I, like we gambled a little. Got to dabble in the gambling. Yeah, uh, the Red Lion in Billings has a little casino that's so cute. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's just funny how they're all. I wonder if they're like regulated on the machines they're allowed to have, because they don't have like a lot of spin machines. That's a lot of fucking Keno. Which makes me so happy because <laughs> yeah. I love Keno. So that was fun. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was a fun little experience. Like, I was not thrown off by the, the gambling, but I was like, I got, you know, like, when in Rome, right? Yeah. Or when in Montana. Like, what else are we going to do? Because we did try to walk the shops, and there was, like, two that were open. And I, like, Mary's like, oh, no, let, let's just let's just go find something. And he's like, no, babe, we are fucking walking these shops. There may only be two of them, but we are <laughs> we fucking walking them. We did it. There was one mug that I was like, yeah, I kind of wish I would have bought that, but also I didn't need it. Yeah. You know? Mm hmm So. But even walking into the shops, the people were like, what the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's literally only locals that are, like... Like, there. Frequently. Uh, well, there was a couple others, but... So, anyway, we end up eating, we end up getting some drinks. Yeah. Walked to the shops, and then we were, like, Googling other things we could do, right? And the only other thing that was, like, open was this bar next to our hotel like bar casino and the pictures looked like made it look janky and then i was like listen we're just gonna walk over there if it's scary we'll leave and we walk in and it's like this really nice establishment yeah it was like gorgeous like they had a really long bar area obviously the walls were covered with like um slot machines yeah but like the bar area was like very nice. Yeah, Looked very clean. Very clean. They had a liquor store in the back, but mm -hmm. fuck it, whatever. Mm -hmm. You know? But the pictures made it look like a fucking dive. Dump. Like, a like dive. Enter at your own risk. Like, dive is a step up from what those pictures made mm -hmm. it look like. Like, I could go to a dive bar. That's fine. Yeah. Like, I literally was going to ask the people at dinner if it was, like, safe to go there. It looked like a, yeah, it just looked like a shithole. Mm hmm. But we went there and we're like, fuck it, let's just go there. Yeah, it's let's just right do next it. to our hotel. Yeah. And we pretty much camped there the yeah, rest we of the spent night. The night there. And then uh, we got up and we're like, the whole plan was to go through West Yellowstone just for the experience. And uh, so we drive over to the park entrance. And you can't even fucking drive on the road. It's closed. Lo and behold, fucking closed. So we and that's the whole reason we stayed there. Yeah, the was... whole reason was to go through West Yellowstone. It like that because even John at some point was like, "Listen, let's just go into Bozeman for tonight. Like, we'll eat our money, whatever. Um, no big deal." Mm -hmm. And I was like, "No, like Bozeman's an extra two hours out of the way tonight. Like, let's just do this." And Boz going the Bozeman route was like an extra thirty minutes of drive time the next day. Yeah. And so I was like, no, we're just going to, we're going to make the best of this, which I mean, I'm glad we did because we had a good time. Mm -hmm. <coughs> but then West Yellowstone was fucking closed. Yeah. So but, the park itself was closed. Yeah. So just to let any listener know, if you are planning to go to Yellowstone National Park in the month of November, don't. Don't do it. I don't know about any other date after that. I'd recommend I doing it. Like. Just go in the fucking summer. Middle yeah, of summer. summer. Just, just fucking do it. Because everything is closed. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, except for two bars. Mm-hmm. Had a great time at those two bars. Mm-hmm. Though. But if you're like looking for some geysers, some old faithful shit, and seen some buffalo, don't do it in November. We didn't see any beefalo. No, we, we didn't. saw the beef, but not the low. Well, no. Okay, so do you know what the difference between a beefalo and a buffalo is? What? A beefalo is what we ate. So a uh, beefalo is like a domesticated buffalo that they slaughter to eat. You know when I'm talking beef. Uh, yes. Okay. Don't start together. Okay. I know it's a funny inside joke, but okay. But after that. I Googled it to see if there was an actually a beefalo. Oh, okay. You know? Uh-huh. And I did, and it's like the ones that they raised to kill oh. the slaughter to eat. Hmm. So I guess that was uh, the more you know. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. So it's not funny to anybody else when I'm calling them a beefalo. No. That's a little disappointing. Yeah. Hmm. Wah, wah. I mean, but when you say it to me. You know what I'm saying. I get it, because it's about don't starve together. Yeah. And... I don't know, I guess if you say it, like, out to other, anybody else, I'd be like, okay, that's kind of funny. You They'd know? probably be like, you want to see the farm-raised ones, not the wild ones? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All fair. At least that's what I gather yeah. from Google, and Google can be wrong sometimes. Mm-hmm. Although I do semi-regret, cause, so we ended up having to go up through Bozeman anyway. So... I do got a question. Hold huh. on one second. I do got a question, and maybe someday in the chat or whatever, you guys could Instagram me. If we if buffalo is such a endan- endangered species, it's kind of crazy to me that we could raise them, farm, eat them. and then eat them. That is crazy to me. Like if they're so endangered, like I feel like if you are raising and breeding buffalo, they should like be put into the population so they could start growing again. <laughs> it's like you wouldn't farm raise a fucking bald eagle to fucking eat it. No, babe, we do weird things. I know. I, it's just it's just one of my thoughts. Anyway, keep going as you were. Um. So well, so I wish that we. I kind of regret not going into Bozeman anyway because we ended up having to go that route regardless. Mm-hmm. Only because I fucking love Bozeman. Like I love Bozeman. You guys can call me uh, like yuppie or whatever you want. I Bougie love Bozeman. Bitch. It's cute. It's all updated. It's well kept. There's a lot to do. There's shopping. Like, it is a cute little city. All right. I've heard it's expensive, but after driving through it one time, two, if you count the the time back, I would totally live there. So cute, huh? It's fucking adorable. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, when when you're like, well, Bozeman, Montana, I'm like, I fucking love Bozeman. I think it's adorable. Like, so cute. It's super eclectic. Um, it, and it has like its own personality. You know, what I loved most about it hmm. is because they have like a long main street with all their, or like a long historic downtown area, right? With all their older buildings and stuff. And what I loved the most about it is every single building had a shop in it. Yep. It wasn't like a dying town where it's like insurance office, law firm. Yeah. You know, some bullshit stuff that no one ever goes into. No one ever goes into those places. So it was just nice to see like actual establishments like in those buildings, like, yeah, like selling stuff and regular shops and restaurants. And like it like it had a like the downtown area was alive. But it wasn't like a big city. Mm-hmm. It was like it was like that perfect. It's the perfect size for like. I know uh, people to like get out and be in the community, but it's not so big that you're getting like the homeless and the riffraff and like mm-hmm. they had a the Whole crime. Foods. They had a fucking Whole Foods. Right. Have I ever shopped at a Whole Foods one time? Too expensive, but they had one. Mm-hmm. The options are there. Mm-hmm. There are some things that like Whole Foods uh, salad bar. So good. Is it? I've oh, never yeah. eaten there. Oh, yeah. There are some things. I mean, you can't afford Whole Foods, but some of Whole Foods stuff is, like, good. Mm -hmm. Who are you? Like, all of a sudden, you feel like this is okay. What? You're tooting. My stomach was hurting. You tooted in the car. I did. And you've never done that before to me. You did it twice on this trip. On this trip, yes. (laughs) On this specific trip. Well, this trip is because, just like you, after eating that beef flow... Your tummy was. <laughs> My tummy was fucking rough. upset. Um, uh, but I loved Bozeman. Like, I would definitely live there if I could afford it. Like, so I don't know if I'd be, ever be able to afford it. 
Yeah, it definitely is like Muckatee expensive. But I guess, you know, we lived in Muckatee, yeah. so like we could probably make it work. Oh, for sure. But it's like one of those things, like if the amenities are there, mm -hmm. it's worth it. It's worth it. And like the stuff that you want to do is there, mm -hmm. it's worth it. It's like the city we live in right now could be like a mini Bozeman. But it could be. There's not shops in every single fucking place. There's not the money here. There's really not. And that's what it is, is that there's money in Bozeman. Like, it, you take our little historic downtown mm -hmm. and triple it and put a shop in every single fucking building, that's what Bozeman is. It'd be cute. And it was just fucking awesome. I really did enjoy it. Except for John tried to hit three different pedestrians in Bozeman. That's the only thing I didn't like about Bozeman, is people just fucking, as you're driving, green light will just walk right in front of your fucking car. Okay, but the first one is kind of cute. It, so, Grandpa... Run it. Church bells are ringing. It, we're there on a Sunday, by the way. The church bells were ringing. The church ringing, bell ringing. literally was ringing. And <laughs> all of a sudden, Grandpa darts in between cars running across the street. And I'm like, Grandpa, I don't think you're going to make it. The bells are already ringing. But we, like, legit almost hit Grandpa because he was trying to make it to church. Yeah, just fucking running across the street. And then we had, like, this other person. Like, we're trying to meet our friends at a gas station. And then we had this other person just fucking right in the middle of the road, like trying, like collecting like signatures or some shit for some fucking thing that's going on. And then without even looking, turns around, turns around traffic. and starts walking like into traffic. It's like, bitch, I almost fucking hit you. I almost hit you. Mm -hmm. If I would have known the jay jaywalking laws in Montana, you could have been hit. Mm -hmm. And then we meet our friends. And I'm circling around the gas station, and then a pedestrian fucking just walks in front of my car. I was like, I cannot do this fucking place. No. But it is cute as shit. It is cute as fuck. You should see its airport. You know what? Huh? Uh, how's their airport? Go just Google it so I can see your reaction. Okay. It's so cute. I want to know. I guarantee you. Hmm. I bet you snow and Christmas time in Bozeman oh is my God. fucking- Maybe we should spend Christmas there. That'd be nice. I bet you it's I bet you it's decorated very nicely. Like, super cute. Like, can you imagine? Oh, I'm sure it's magical. It's magical. Uh Bozeman's airport is like a giant log cabin and it's super rustic with uh, terminals. But it's like a bougie log cabin, right? Like it's like and it kind of looks like a hangar. Yeah, isn't it cute? That is fucking adorbs. Like, probably the cutest airport you've ever seen in your life, huh? Yeah, and they fly big planes. They do. Because that's they where I flew a, from there to Seattle. They have a Transaurus Rex. I, I'm assuming that a lot of fossils are in Bozeman, Montana. I guess. That they find they have a yeah. Transaurus Rex. Is that where they fucking found the Transaurus Rex? No way. So, super cute little town. So we finally meet our friends, my friends, the Museum of the Rockies, friends. um, and we go out to the hot springs. That was like the whole point of all of this. And then the, on Friday, my friends like, "Hey, dude, I checked the trail. There isn't any snow that we have to worry about. Like, do you think that John would be down?" I'm like, "Fuck yeah, John would love that." And so we're like, okay, cool. So we don't really know what to expect. Like, we try to go into these sort of things with no expectations because I think, at least me personally, I feel like you're kind of the same way. Um, I feel like when you go into a situation like this where you're meeting people and you have, like, rough plans, if you have expectations, you're going to be disappointed and you're not going to have a good time. Mm -hmm. But I think if you're just like, okay, I'm here for the ride. Yeah. Like, whatever happens, happens, and we're going to have a good time, you have a good time. I mean, because you never know, like, especially like no matter what type of situation it is, like in this case, <laughs> we were off roading, right? Mm -hmm. And going to hot springs. Um, you don't know, like, what, like, is it off roading, like, as in, okay, we're just going to hit like a fire service road, or are we going to do something technical? Like, are we just going to be doing, I don't know, just fucking going down to a sand dune? You like, you never really know. Right. You know, or hot springs, like you could be hiking 30 fucking miles to get to the hot spring. Or it could be a facility. Or it could be a facility, you know? So, like, you always have to temper your expectations for okay. sure. Yeah, for sure. 
So we're just kind of like along for the ride. We had made rough plans to do the trail. It wasn't like a solid like, okay, we're going to do this trail. This is what to expect. So we get to where we're... And, oh. Sorry to interrupt. And normally, this time of year... You don't trail. All the trails are closed because of snow. So we just kind of looked out. So my friend was like, yeah, okay, we're going to do the trail. And then that was kind of that. And then all of a sudden, he pulls us... Like, we think... John and I think we're going to the hot springs at this point. Like, we think that's, like, where we're heading. Is that accurate? Oh, yeah. Okay. And we're like, okay, cool. Like, to we're both hungover as fuck. Like, let's just put that out there. So we're like, okay, no big deal that we're not going to do the trail. <laughs> yeah. And he took us on a dirt road, a back way to the hot springs, too. So I thought that was the trail. And I was like, okay, that was nice. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, cool. I'm happy. Yeah, whatever. Um, so we're like, we thought we, we kind of thought we had already done the trail. I didn't think we had already done the trail, but that's the, the kind of trail that I expected. Yeah. I thought like, since we were skipping the trail for the day. The, it, that's he, why he took us that way. He was going to take us for a scenic route. Yeah. Okay. Th same. That was like kind of my same like thoughts. Like, a, like, okay, let's get our cars a little dirty. You right. know, we're not going to hit the trail. But, so let's, let's see some yeah. scenery, do the like super back roads. Yeah. You know. Which was really cool. Like yeah, I liked the the really beginning pretty. of the yeah, and it, it was a little traily, you know, like yeah. just, you know, washboard roads, whatever. It wasn't a trail, but right. it was dirt. Yeah, it was something. So then we like pull off on the side of the road, and he's like, "Do you want to air down?" No, wait, hold on. Before we get there, oh. so he pulls on the side of the road, right? Because both Mary and I are thinking we're going to the fucking hot yeah, springs. We think the next destination is the hot springs. So he pulls over. All everyone in their vehicle. He has two kids. His wife gets out of the car. And right? we, I, I think one of them is eating a snack or something like that. And Mary and I like simultaneously. We're like we're not fucking hiking. We're like no. We're like put down. Trips over. We're not going to be your friends. We're like we are not fucking hiking to these hot springs. No, because we didn't know what to expect. Right? I didn't Google it. I was like whatever. And I was like. And John, like, said at first, he's like, are we fucking hiking? And I was like, <laughs> no. If we have to hike to these hot springs, we're out. But that's, like, how in tune Mary, are, <laughs> Mary and I are sometimes. Like, we will sit there. We don't talk to each other. We're hungover as fuck. All of a sudden, we pull over. I'm like, are we fucking hiking? And she's like, god damn, no, we're fucking we're not. not. <laughs> you know? I was like, no, I'm out. Because we're both thinking the same fucking thing. Like, the look of our eyes and just like, shit. What the fuck did we get ourselves into? And then I get out of the car. I'm like, are the hot springs over that hill? And they're like, no. Do you want to air down? And I was like, okay, sure. And then I'm like, okay, like, yeah, this road's a little washboardy, but I don't think we really need to air down for it, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, I actually thought he was being a little dramatic. Oh, I thought so, too. I thought it was, like, I thought he was being pretentious at that point. I was like... So you're going to air, I mean, yeah, okay, airing down on washboard roads, sure, it makes it a little bit more comfortable, but is it worth the time to me? No, not not normally. And then we get to the trailhead, and we're like, oh, okay. okay. This is what's going on. And, like, Mary and I are both fucking hungover, so I'm, I'm sure that didn't help, and Mary and I are probably both being super awkward, like, the first half of the trip. <laughs> oh, for sure. Just because we're hungover, we don't know what the fuck we're doing, because there wasn't, like, an itinerary no, or anything. No, we were just like, all right. Yeah, just sure. I'll follow you lead the way let's go to the hot springs you know and then it was the trail and we're like that makes so much this more makes sense because really at first I was like and then John aired down just to be polite and I was like I got even more confused because I'm like what the fuck is going on I did air down just to be <laughs> polite I was like I don't know why we're doing this but sure you're like alright <laughs> let's do it and then once we got to the trail, I'm like, I bet John looks like the biggest dumbass to him. <laughs> like, Probably. Like, well, because I didn't want to do it. I was like, why the fuck am I going to air down for to, just, just to go to the fucking trail? Like, I'm going to have to tell him on Monday. He's going to think it's so funny. Like, he's going to be like, oh, my God, this makes so much sense. And, like, I was like, okay, sure, I'll air down, you know? Like, I could have air down, like, probably, like, 15 more PSI, but I was like, I'll... I'm just going to do this for show. You, you know what I mean? Like, like I aired down quite a bit, yeah. but like not nothing to where like he was aired down to. Yeah. 
So then we get on the trail. And then I think it, that's at the moment, like, he realized, like, we didn't know that we were heading to the trail. Mm -hmm. And then he's like, you know, okay, like, we're going to do this, we're going to do that, blah, blah, blah. Like, we're going to cross the creek. And I'm like, okay, cool. Like, this all sounds like. And then Mary and I were like, okay, cool. Like, this is what we're doing finally. We were like, we know what we're doing now. Yeah. And then John starts getting anxiety on the trail. I do start getting anxiety because I've had too much coffee. No for, food. No food. And I'm hungover, which is like a trifecta of anxiety. And the 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 road really between really what, like Big Sky to Bozeman is like pretty, it's, 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 uh, it's tough. It is tough. And I, like, I drove that the first half and I was like, I did, I've, in my mind, in my opinion, from my perspective, I did pretty good. Like, it's pretty windy. Yeah. Um, there's semis going way too fucking fast. Just like any in other honesty, scenario. In all honesty, I probably should have drove that. You probably should have. Like. But, like, I was fine. Like, I did a good job, you know. Uh, but, like, usually I could drive fairly well with anxiety, especially if we're going, like, two miles an hour. And I I do pretty good. I can mask it pretty well. Like, yes, I was getting anxiety, but nothing I couldn't handle because, like, we're just going two miles an hour. It's a nice fucking, at that point, easy trail. We're just crossing over. I'm in four-wheel low fucking. The creek wasn't even really technical. No. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm in, I'm in four-wheel low. The fucking sway bar's disconnected. I'm just going to let the Jeep do the work. Yeah. Like, we're just going to enjoy the scenery. Yep. Creek crossing, no big deal. Uh, my friend did dent his bumper, but that's a whole other thing. Mary wanted to laugh at him. I was like, don't you fucking dare. Don't you <laughs> I fucking am not, dare. I'm not in the mood right now. He's like, like, I don't know what you, we have a hit in yeah. front of us, so you better calm the fuck down, bitch. Yeah. Um, and then all of a sudden, we find ourselves on the side of a cliff that I can't even gauge how far down it was. I would say a minimum 50 feet down. I was going to say 200 feet. Okay, yeah. I mean, it was... Well, because we were focusing, right? Yeah. So, from my perspective, I was driving, so, like, we were... I was cliffside this time around. And, like, Mary had her own, like, earlier in the trail, Mary had her own, like, little anxiety thing, because, like, she saw the cliff on her side. Yeah. And I didn't see it. And, like, I'm focusing and doing our thing, and then, like, all of a sudden we stop, and then, like, they're taking pictures and shit. And then that made me not focus on the road and focus on my environment. And all of a sudden, like, I look and I'm fucking, we are on a slate rock trail. With wet tires. With wet tires. I pro There's probably eight feet of trail and then a 200 foot drop off. And all of a sudden, my anxiety, my, me being hungover, over caffeinated and no food. That anxiety turned into what the fuck? A full-blown panic attack. Full-blown panic attack. Because I was able to actually see what the fuck was going on. And I was like, what the fuck? I am freaking the fuck out right now. Because I look out my window, and all I see is fucking cliff. Yeah. I look out my fucking windshield into the left a little bit, and all I see is fucking cliff. And then my tires start to spin. Mary hears fucking rocks. This might be like uh, just a fucking figment of her imagination. I don't know. But Mary hears rocks going down the cliff. And I'm like, God damn, hold on. White knuckling, butt puckering. I would puckering. call it a canyon. Yeah, like it's definitely a canyon. Okay. Yeah. With a 200 foot drop. And <laughs> that fucking set me over the edge. And we're in a situation, like, this isn't a situ. like, normally if John gets like that, it's like, oh, I'll take over driving, no big deal. But we were in a situation where it's like, I don't drive this terrain. Like, we are not in a situation where I could drive. No, I definitely, I would probably be freaking out more if you were driving. Yeah, like, I definitely, we were definitely in a situation where it wasn't like we could, it was like, at that point where I could be like, hey, let's just switch seats for a minute. I'll drive, you hang out. Like, it just wasn't a situation that was possible for us to do mm -hmm. that. 
so then we keep going. <laughs> we just keep on going. Like yeah. we kept going for a long time. But like after that, like that was the worst part. Like mm. obviously I anxiety like the whole the rest of the day. Mm -hmm just because of that one moment because i had a very and like i don't know if anyone's ever had like a true blue panic attack i know you have mary but like our listeners like i don't know if you've ever had a true blue panic panic attack it takes it can take a long time for you to calm down from that oh so long it took you like it took you until we were like in the hot pools with a beer yeah like it fucking took me a good two hours to calm down from that and john was bad enough because when he gets anxiety i start and like i can feel his anxiety and then like it just like compounds on my anxiety and it was bad enough that i was like dude we can call it like i have no shame being like hey i got diarrhea or whatever <laughs> i need to say to get us off this mountain right like yeah. i like this kid's cool but like at the end of the day like he's just a co-worker so mm -hmm. like if our safety's a concern here or like you literally like need to get off the mountain, like I'll do what I need to do. Um I mean, we went for probably what? Another, another hour. Another hour and then yeah. the trail just because for you trail people out there and for you non trail people out there, he's done this trail like multiple times. But every season trails always change mm -hmm. because there's there's water runoff rocks fall trees fall you know so we just got to a point to where um it just started getting too tight like the the last season's waterfall just made the turns way too tight mm -hmm. and then he was like you know we could probably make this part but fuck it let's go drink some beer and sit in the hot pools and yeah. i was like i like beer I like beer and i like hot pools yeah so then we went back we went to this really cool little hot pool area um, I'll go back there again, but I, um, I'm going to need to like mentally prepare to go back. Are you talking about like the trail or the hot pools? The hot pools. But hold on. Before we get to the hot pools. So on our way down, Mary, like Mary had the perspective of the cliff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now is like her turn to kind of like look out the, look out the window and see just the fucking 200 foot fall it was a lot easier on me because all i could see was rocks mm -hmm. <laughs> you know well and the other thing too is like when we were going up that there you had more room on my side mm -hmm. um but like we were sliding so you couldn't get over to my side yeah more. and then coming back you could gauge but i was able to adjust and like yeah focus like hug the mountain but, side yeah. more and like, and I could see like, because I'm passionate, I could look out and I could see how much, I mean, really it was only like a foot mm -hmm. that you had, but I could be like, okay, we only got like three feet to where there's nothing to catch us if you start sliding. And then it's like, okay, in three feet, there's a buildup that would like semi catch us as long as you're not like, you know, full blown fucking sliding on the mountain. Yeah. But if you just have like a little slide, that like little ledge will catch us, right? Mm -hmm. Like they have a buildup. It was a lot easier going down for sure. For sure. Um, in that moment, I realized that I I think I'm a lot more afraid of heights than I thought I was. Oh, I've known that since Disney. Yes, you You're a little bitch. I am a little bitch. And then, like, I think I figured out, like, my limitations. Because, like, there are trails I've always wanted to do that now I know I'm not going to do those trails. Really? Like the Black Bear Pass in Colorado. Oh, yeah, that's ha too scary. Have like, you ever like, seen that? Yeah. Yeah, I watched that video. With oh, yeah, okay. Like, I know now I can't do that. And I'm not even going to try, which is fine. I just like trees, like, on both sides of the trail. Agreed. Like, you could take me up as far as you want. Well, I think that's the hard thing, too, is all of our trailing has been done in Washington. Mm -hmm. So even if there is a big canyon or a big drop, like, there's trees there. And I know that, like, trees aren't going to really save us, but they might. Some of those trees, yeah. Yeah. I mean, but it's the illusion of safety. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. But when you see nothing. Nothing. Like, for sure, if we went over that canyon, we would have died. I think if I wasn't hungover, wasn't over-caffeinated, and had breakfast, I probably would have felt better about it, but I probably still would have got... Stressed. I like, tried to get you to eat breakfast, but you weren't about it. No. And we were running behind, too. Yeah. 
But would I do that trail again? I probably would, just to, like, conquer the fear. Mm. Well, I think now that we know what to expect, yeah. it wouldn't be bad. Yeah. And some of that's on me and you for, like, not doing a better good, a better job of, like... I could have totally researched that trail. Right. But I didn't. Yeah. We were just, like, YOLO. Um... So, yeah, but then we go back to the hot pools, which I totally want to do a weekend trip there. Spend the night, hang out, do the uh, dinner. Honestly, that's where we should have stayed. That looked like... But you were the one that was like, no, we ain't doing that. See, I didn't know that's where you were trying to get us to stay. It was there. It is. But they have no amenities. I mean, they have the bar, the restaurant, but they have no... Mm. I mean, which is what we did in Yellowstone. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we didn't have amenities in Yellowstone either. <laughs> um... So that that's why, because you were you like kibosh that early because that was like the first place I wanted to stay. Well, yeah, because like, it looked like it just a fucking. I didn't. So when I kibosh that, I didn't know it was actually at the trailhead and at the hot pools. Agreed. Like next time we for sure we'll just go drive the four hours the first day and stay yeah. there. Um. The... So I think that's like a communication thing. I think when you. But listen, I'm like planning it with somebody to you and i don't know what to expect so you know what i mean yeah for sure anyway keep going so yeah uh just the hot pools were cool i don't like that it's natural and that there's no chemicals in there yeah and i would like wash off after in the shower or like go back to the hotel and wash off well i mean i don't know how lava is is lava natural i don't know i don't know when i became such a Germaphobe. Yeah. I mean, I think this one, it's hard, this one. Okay, so this hot pool. is fucking awesome. Is awesome. Fucking so, awesome. So, like, if we if we sound like we're talking shit about it. We're not. We are this not. This is a merry thing, not at anybody else's um, thing. So, they have, they have a walk-up window to where you could order beer or drinks, which was fucking awesome. They have a really hot pool, and then they have, like, a, a warm pool. Like, the warm pool was like a good temperature on us to like hang out for a long time yeah. it was a it, it was wasn't like, too hot it wasn't too yeah. cold it was like a perfect body temperature yeah cool it was warm but you didn't get like so hot that you were like fuck this i'm done let's get out yeah and then like they they had food like walk up they food. have three different restaurants on yeah. site a hotel a, apparently a fucking like dining restaurant like a, yeah. a nice one like a fine dining yeah so if we talk shit I want you to know that we like this place. We do um, like this place. I mean, the walk-up window, that's fucking genius. Yeah. But with a walk-up window of beer and alcohol and a walk-up food place comes the, all right, so we're kind of nearing the end of our day. And we were driving the four and a half hours back that day. And we were driving the four and a half hours back. But when you're in the hot tubs and you realize you drink a beer and most people, like, at first, I was, like, keeping my empty cup, like, above the water, like, trying to keep the water, like, not put the, the leftover beer that I had in my cup in the water. And I realized everyone just puts their, washes their cup with their, their yeah, like, with the hot tub and yeah. then throws away and gets another one. So, it's, like, you have beer water, you have food water, you have soda water, you have flies kind of, like, all over the place. Yeah. And little kids that and little have kids. probably peed in the uh, water. There's probably pee yeah. in the water. They have signs that say don't pee, but you guarantee you know. people pee in there. Yeah, 100%. And it, there's no chemicals. So there's no chlorine. It's all natural mineral water. So it's a water. big bathtub with everybody in there. Exactly. So if you think about it too long, it's kind of gross. And, you know, people like Mary and I, like, we shower like every three days. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. like fucking, that was our bath for the day. Yeah. Well, and I'd showered <laughs> two days before, but I was also like, ew. Yeah. So it's like, so you get all of that, right? And it's kind of like, uh, it's really cool, but it's also like. Kind of gross. Kind of gross. Yeah. But it is a cool place to go, and we'll definitely go back. We will definitely go back. I mean, I enjoyed myself, for sure. Yeah. It was, a, it was fun. It definitely got to a point in the day where everybody was like, fuck, we should probably eat and go, and nobody wanted to go. Yeah. Not even the kids. They were also like... Like, I didn't want to go. Like, I definitely didn't want to go. Like, mm-hmm. I wanted to stay another night, mm-hmm. like, relax, and then just... Like, hang but, out. You know, like, that's sometimes the problem of, like, weekend warriors, especially when you do shit on Sundays and yeah. you work on Monday. Yeah. You have to go back. I think if we do do that again, or hang out with your friend again, 
We'll do Saturday. We'll Sunday. definitely have to try to plan a Saturday. Yeah. And come back on Sunday. Like, even if we drive through the night after mm-hmm. work or yeah. whatever, um, come back Sunday. Maybe get up, have breakfast. I'm good for right now. Okay. Um, but it, it, it was a good time. It was a good time. I mean, I was a little awkward, like, in the dressing rooms for me. Same. Because I'm, I'm not a big, like, just get naked in front of it. Like, I like, don't. We're pretty modest people. Yeah, and everyone there was just like dropping trow and yeah, same in mine too. I so when I first walked in, there was a naked ass lady bent over, and I was like, "Okay, yeah, that's what we're doing here." Yeah. I did not. You did not. No, I went in a dressing room. I waited for one. Well, I didn't go into the dressing. So the first <laughs> time, I took over to the shower, and I just dressed in there. Mm-hmm. And then the second time, I had to pee so bad that I just like got in the the shitter. Uh-huh. And I closed the door, and then I got dressed in there. Yeah, but like I wasn't used, to, like I wasn't expecting that. It's like there's no, no privacy at all. No privacy at all. I mean, I guess, I guess some people, fucking Montana, they're I guess, fine. Everyone just gets naked. That's fine. Yeah, just not those people. No, definitely not. Very private. Like I didn't. I don't think there's ever been a situation, and if there has been, like I didn't like it, and I was very uncomfortable to where I had to be like. Naked in front of people. Like, naked, naked. Naked, naked. Like, switch from your clothes to a swimsuit naked. Mm-hmm. Well, I had went to the bathroom and I came out, and our friend's wife, I was like, wow, you wore your... I was like, you're so smart. You wore your swimsuit here? And she's like, no, I already changed. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> then went and found the dressing room, and I was like, holy cow, like, this is too much for me. Yeah. Like, I just met you. I don't need you to be naked in front of me yet. <laughs> oh, I know, right? Yeah. And I'm sure there's, like... The gyms probably do that, maybe, like, to where it's, like, open dresses. I don't know. What? Like, gyms. What's that? Like, when you oh, go... Oh, gyms. Like, like, is, like a gym. Like, you work out. Yeah. Like, okay. is that, like, a thing? I don't know. I've never really been to a gym. Neither have I. So I like, the gyms I go to are, like... I, mean, I remember, like, one time I went to, like, um, a rec center. Mm-hmm. And, like some people just got done working out some old dudes and like they were like completely naked in the dressing room i was like what the fuck are you doing yeah i thought they were the weird ones coming to find out i'm the weird one yeah i don't know i it's weird i've always been very private like that though like i'll pee with the door open but like at home at home yeah yeah it was weird yeah i mean it definitely i mean i I didn't let it make me feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Because I like I'm not gonna get naked in front of people. I'll just right. fucking go somewhere and get changed. Get changed. But it it was interesting. Yeah. It was, it was I mean, and everybody was doing it too. And I was like, mm-hmm. wow. I don't know. It yeah, that was that was kinda weird to me, but you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, the food was so like after we got done like hot tubbing and drinking some beers and stuff. Like we obviously it was time to go home for everybody. Mm-hmm. And we sat down, got some food. And I'll, I'll tell you what, man, that was some fucking good. Yeah. Food. And it was nice too. Like it was like a good dinner atmosphere. Like, it, I don't know. Like it was, it was natural for me. I don't know. Was it pretty natural for you or were, did you feel like you were like having to put on a show? No, it was pretty natural. Yeah. Like, like the, maybe like a little best behavior because I don't want to use the f bomb around little kids. But yeah, I mean you'll get that anywhere. Yeah, but you like know. I, it was like, like know your natural. audience type thing. It was yeah. comfortable. But yeah, I mean it was it was a good time. Like I I feel like you know like that couple is a very good nice like down hump, to earth down like to earth similar values yeah. similar mentality. Yeah, it was nice to hang out with some people like that and. No, it was a good time. And, you know, like this hot spring fucking in the trail. Like, it's literally just a town for the hot spring. Like, it is fucking in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> right? It's yeah. in the fucking middle of nowhere. But, like, shit's still popping. Shit, shit's still going. Yeah. It was it was popping in there. Yeah. Like, I, like so many people were coming <laughs> in there. I was like, this place is fucking popping. Popping. And they had good beer, too. Yeah, they did. It wasn't just your normal fucking lager. 
shit. It was like made me feel like I was back in society, even though I was in the middle of nowhere. I know, right? I mean, it's amazing, like what a good beer will do. Even West Yellowstone had good beer. Yeah, West Yellowstone did have good beer. I drank a lot of it. Yeah. (laughs) Do you know what else? So we obviously are no strangers to people having kids. Uh huh. I like there was really only like one time that there are kids. I was like, okay, buddy. Yeah. But every other like. Like what time was that? Oh, just when he splashed my face. Oh yeah. But we were in a fucking pool, so like it's expected. Expected. But I was. But there's no chlorine, so your hair was fine. Yeah, it was fine. Um, well, because my manager actually was like, "Are his kids as crazy as he says they are?" Because she's like, "I don't believe that they're as crazy as he says they are." And I was like, "So it made me." That's why I like actually thought about it. I was like, "Dude, his kids are actually pretty fucking good." Well, like I I view kids like there's a. I I think there's levels, right? There's kids being kids. And just exploring and figuring out things and, like, just enjoying the world and having fun, like, unapologetically, mm-hmm. right? And then there's there's kids that are doing things for attention and they're just being rambunctious. They want something and their parents aren't giving it to them. And then they're just naughty fucking assholes, right? Yeah. And I've seen all spectrums. His are definitely, like, the exploring... Just having fun, like yeah. kids being kids, unapologetically just having some fucking fun. Right. You know, making friends with other kids, you know, playing ball and all that stuff. But they and, still, like, really listen. And yeah. Just, like, they, we sat at a bar top with a three-year-old and a five-year-old. Yeah, I mean, they were good kids, you know? Like, like yeah, they had kid moments. They have kid moments, right. but, like, those are expected. Like, kid moments are expected. You know, like, if you go into any situation, a kid moment is going to be expected. Mm. You know, and I expect those things when I hang out with kids. And there wasn't, like, and kids fucking annoy the shit out of me. And there wasn't one moment to where I was like, I'm really fucking annoyed by your kids. No, there wasn't one time. Me either. And well, I would say just when I got splashed in the face, but also it it was a me thing, not the, a kid thing. Yeah. And it was like, dude, Mary, you're fucking playing with him in the water. Like, you're going to get <laughs> yeah. splashed in the face. So it, it wasn't even necessary that I was, like, annoyed with the kid. It was, like, I was annoyed with myself for getting annoyed that I got splashed in the water when I'm in a fucking pool, literally actively engaging and playing in the pool with this child one-on-one. Yeah. So that's on me. Yeah, definitely on you. Um, But, like, you know, there's... I've been around kids in my own fucking family that I feel like are just too fucking much. It's like, you gotta get away from me. You know, and as kids, I didn't have that feeling at all. And, you know. And Which was I, nice, yeah, honestly. It, it really was, because even, like, my uncle's kids, you know, sometimes, like, just got under mm-hmm. under my fucking skin. Mm-hmm. It's like, I know you're just doing this to piss me off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, like, mm-hmm. I know you're doing this because you know it fucking upsets me. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I you know, know just trying to get attention. you know I can't fucking do anything about it, you know. No, there was nothing about that. Like he had some really good kids, and they were just they were just having the time of their fucking oh, life. Yeah. You know, just fucking trailing. Like yeah. you went and explored rocks with them, and yeah. you know it was a good time. You know, I would say to your manager, he had some good kids. Well, and that's what that's exactly what I said. I was like, like, because it made me like stop and pause. I was like, he tells you they're crazy. Like it kind of like because you know when people say, oh. My kids are crazy. I think they're like the rambunctious, just, just unparented kids and in Walmart. out of control kids, right? So, like, I feel like that's what he's explained to her. And so I was like, no, dude, these are like some good kids. Like, these are the kids you can take to Walmart with you yeah. and actually get shopping done, <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. versus you've all seen it in Walmart. You, Some of you may have them, mm-hmm. you know, and I feel for you. But the kids that you cannot take shop- shopping with you mm-hmm. at all because mm-hmm. they are just fucking running amok, knocking shit over, trying to sh- put shit in the cart. Not those kids. No. No. So it was a great time. Yeah. Great time. The drive back, a little rough. It was rough. But I made it through. Yeah. That was I'm fine. I did the whole through. drive. You did the whole drive. John man. was supposed to be watching out for animals. Do you want to know when he let me know he saw a fucking animal? In our neighborhood when there was a cat. 
there was this one fucking i did see an elk that fucker was big but it was on like the the opposite side of the road so i didn't really worry about it because like i don't want to be like mary 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 stop slow down you know especially when i know it's not like crossing or Mm -hmm. doing anything but this fucker like it had like a mane and it was like dark brown and the rest of them was like tan and he had like these big ass fucking antlers like i saw like that guy's he could be dead now because it's hunting season no. but, it could have been bigfoot no it definitely was I'm an elk being funny but but you know i i saw this huge ass fucking elk like it was gorgeous it, it was like a hunter's dream elk just on the side of the road as we're driving and i was like damn that's a big fucking animal mm-hmm we did not see any beef- beefalo. We no did not beefalo. see any bears. We did, not did see deer. We could saw some deer. Yeah. And we saw an elk. Mm-hmm. Other than that, it was smooth sailing. Yeah. I drove slow. Yeah. Slow I mean, and steady. You have to through the big sky area. Yeah. Slow and like, steady. At at daytime, it's easier because you can actually see where you're going. Mm-hmm. But at night, fucking Montana and Idaho alike, they are fucking dark. And when cars come opposite direction of you, it is fucking blinding. And I swear you can't see for another like 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. And it is dark. So you really have to like maintain your lines, watch Mm -hmm. lines, see where you're going. Because the only thing you can see is like as far as your your lights can see. Mm -hmm. And that's not very far. So you you did a good job, babe. Thank you. You, uh, You powered house through the... The trip home. Mm-hmm. It was a long trip home. Those kind of roads don't bother me, though. To, like, if I'm going 45, 55 on, like, those sort of roads, they don't bother me. It's going 80 and the fucking wind pulling the Jeep all over. That shit, I can't handle. Yeah, I, you know, I, I drove my parents' uh, car today. They have, like, a Toyota RAV4. And, like, I was taking corners like a boss, like, going, like, 45 miles an hour, taking corners like a boss, fucking, uh, it was just a smooth ride. And, like, sometimes I forget, because I don't drive any other vehicles, like, how difficult it actually is to drive, like, a Jeep. Yeah. A Jeep that is has bigger tires on it. Like, a Jeep is not made for highway driving. Yeah. It does not hug corners. It does not, like in any way provide a smooth fucking ride and it's not comfortable the seats suck it is made for one there purpose. is no space and it fucking i honestly because so this is the first time we took the rubicon out we've There's, always yeah. taken the yj out on trails because the yj's paid off it has a raptor lining it's one of those cars that it's like yeah we would be sad if we fucked it up but it wouldn't be it, it, it's it's nothing it's not a big deal right like, like if we end up rolling it, whatever. Well, fuck, it sucks, but you know. Yeah, like we'll be bummed. We'll probably always say we'll get another one one day and maybe buy a cheap one, right? Like, so this is the first time we took the Rubicon out. And I was like, this bitch was made for this. Like, that was the first time that I was like, this is nice. Yeah. I mean, you fucking, you put that sucker in four wheel low. You take the swat, the, you turn off the sway bars or disconnect them. And you're just fucking rolling over yeah. those rocks. Like, I was barely pressing my gas That was, pedal. like, the nicest ride I've ever had in the Jeep. I know, right? Like, it was a nicer ride on the trail than it was on the fucking highway. Yeah, 100%. Like, that's how I feel. Like, it made me... I was like, we could definitely do the Rubicon. Yeah. I think we could. I think we could, too. Yeah. Which we should. I mean, they have spotters all along if mm-hmm. we do it when, like... You just your friend uh, next year. So there's a couple trails I want to do around here. Okay, well, bro, tell, I'll have to just give you his number. And then, like... So you guys uh, can talk about trails. You should ask him if he wants to go to Moab. He might be interested in Moab. Yeah. Because it's, like, somewhat close to us. Yeah. Okay. So I think that'd be fun. Well, write down the trails, and I'll talk to him about them. Okay. Um, and maybe I'll just put us in a group chat that might be more comfortable. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I mean, there's a... Because there's one in Wyoming that I want to do that's kind of on the way to Jackson. Okay. Uh, maybe two, and then there's a couple on our side that I mm-hmm. want to check out. So, and he was saying one that was kind of Island Park area too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. So I don't know. Write down the trails, or I'll put you in a group chat. And mm-hmm. once you like know, do you know all the trail names? No. 
Okay, well, maybe tomorrow I'll get them together. And... Well, I don't know any troll names. I just know, like, there's a couple that I, I've seen okay. on, like, uh, Gaia GPS that okay. I want to try out. Okay. Um, Because I, I know there's a few, like, in this area that he was, like, looking at. Uh, which might be nice, too, because our other friend that lives in this area could, like, meet us, have lunch, and then we could go do a trail. Yeah. Um, You know, if it's, like, reasonable distance. Well, it's, like, I, I don't know how, like, it's kind of weird, because, like, I don't mind when people stay at my house, you know, but, mm-hmm. I, but, like, I don't like staying at other people's house. Yeah. But at least I have the option, like, if it's here, like, we could stay at the house, like, you know, if we're going on a trail, like, if we get done with a trail on Saturday and we... Mm-hmm stay the night or whatever somewhere or stay here they get a hotel here but we can still like have cocktails make dinner and like yeah. do like all that hosting type things you know they might actually stay with us yeah i don't know you know because like we have the downstairs and yeah fucking cocktail it up and i wouldn't mind talking to your other friend um about board games and see if you'd be interested in playing a game or two i'm sure they would honestly i think for the most part he's waiting for me to like commit invite them yeah we'll just invite them because i you know i wouldn't mind having like a because there are games that we have i know we're getting off subject and i guess we're wrapping up the tail end of this conversation um there are games that we have that are just better suited for four players agreed or at least three an extra player because you and i like can figure out each other's strategy pretty fucking well i think we would need to ease them into it yeah like a Catan. yeah you know, like maybe a Puerto Rico. Yeah. Like ease them in. Well, for sure. But what I'm saying is like you and I, like if I know your strategy or you know my strategy, like we know it's how to. It's not fun. It's not fun. But when other people are involved, your strategy has to change a little mm-hmm. bit. and Like it might be fun to do like exploding kitten, kittens with them the first time. Or, yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. I know that you, you're disappointed in that, but I'm just saying. <laughs> He's a man to it. I think that he would. I just don't know his wife. Does that make sense? And that is a big deal. And what I know about her, I just, I don't know. Like, I think he would be like super into it. And like, regardless, like, even if it was too much for him, he'd still be like, fuck it, let's do it. Mm-hmm. You know? Um, but I don't know about his wife. Gotcha. From like, I could give you like predictability, but I don't know. Like, I don't know how accurate or inaccurate I am. But I guess this goes to, like, the question, like, Mary and I were, I think, either on our way back from Montana or on our way there. And we were both talking, and we're like, we need to do a better job of, like, trying to find friends. Like, trying to make friends. Like, trying to make friends. Because, like, we do a pretty piss poor job of it. I've made us friends in other states. And that's fantastic. But my problem is, is I want to have friends, but I don't, like, commit all friends. Like, I don't want to hang out with you every single fucking weekend. You don't want clingy friends. Exactly. You want friends on our terms. We're like, hey, do you want to play board games? Cool. Do you want a barbecue? Cool. Do you want to go out for drinks? Cool. Right. But it's not like uh, we have to hang out every weekend, all weekend. It's yeah. Like, yeah, if you're hanging out Saturday night and you're like, you want to have brunch tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. I probably would want to actually do that. But yeah. like, if I'm like, yeah, I just can't do it. I don't want like a thing. Yeah. It to be a thing. But I think that's something Mary and I need to be, try to do. But I am also kind of, like, enjoying, like, traveling and meeting people. Yeah, that that's one thing that we were talking about, too, is, like, when we were in Washington, we traveled a little bit. But since we moved to Idaho, like, we have traveled nonstop. And I don't know if we talked about this on the last podcast. I don't think we did. Um, I think a lot of it is because, like, Idaho kind of forces us. Forces us, us. Why can't I say that? Forces us to, like, get out and explore different things versus Seattle. Like we had all the amenities. Yeah. I think our next trips should be somewhere. Disney. On the East coast. On the East coast. New York. Well, I'd love to go to New York, but I know that that's not somewhere you're willing to move, but I think we should check out the Nashville area. Oh, Nashville. Mm -hmm. Is Mm -hmm. that maybe an option for us? Yeah. We could do that. And I have friends there. Yeah. I'm, like, nervous about you meeting my one friend, though. Why? You guys are going to be wild. Oh, yeah. Together. Wild's not bad. 
I like wild every now and again. Yeah. I mean, but you also thought that about... Didn't you think that about the friends we met in Denver? I don't know. We were... Oh, no. You were worried about that friend from Nashville coming. Uh, yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. And we still went hard in Denver. We did. Honestly, I'm pretty sure if none of us had a drive from Montana, we would have went hard in Montana. Oh, for sure. You could tell everybody was, like, trying to restrain. Yeah, everyone's like... Just it like... was, like, some serious self-control. Mm -hmm. Everyone's like, God damn it, we have to fucking go home. Yeah. Calm it down a little bit. We all want to fucking party right now. Because I was ready. Like, especially when he ordered it old-fashioned, I'm like, yes, please. Yeah. Well, I, but I think... So, I don't know, like, how many people trail, but for me, in this particular, like, since I had so much anxiety, and then coming down, like, when I got in the hot tub and drank a beer, it was, like, grounded, right? But any other time, like, let's just say I didn't have anxiety, I know you're only going two to five miles an hour, but it's fucking exhausting. It is exhausting. It's exhausting. It's bumpy. You have to put a lot of thought into where you're putting your tires. It's not just something you're just like, ah, yeah, autopilot. No, it's like fucking exhausting doing a trail. Mm -hmm. You know, a, especially like a somewhat, you know. I would say that was fairly technical. It was moderate. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't say it's like a, a level nine. I'd probably yeah. say it's like a five. Yeah. Like, you know, like, should you be taking your Subaru over there? Fuck no. No. Um, but like that takes... I, I know it sounds crazy only going five miles an hour in a vehicle and you could be exhausted, but you're just, it's exhausting mm -hmm. doing it, you know, but no, that's just me. So yeah, everyone was ready to fucking get down. Just go, just go. It's like, uh, keep them coming. Uh, and that's part of why I was like, we'll share a beer. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Because I was like, ah, oh, fuck. Like, because I was getting to the point where I was like, if I drink too much, we ain't going home. And Well, you were getting to the point where, like, John, I'm ready to drink too much. You should call in sick tomorrow. Oh, yeah. 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 You know? So, because you were down. We were all down. We were all down to Yeah, fucking... everybody was, like, trying I, to restrain. I, I did kind of, like, I know they didn't work Saturday. I wish they would have came with us on Saturday to, like hang out in like yeah. west yellowstone or whatever i think that would have been a lot of fun yeah well and i probably should have been like hey when you get off work come meet us in west yellowstone yeah or whatever you know but like again i didn't know what to expect i wasn't mm -hmm. sure like how well you guys would get along mm -hmm. like next time for sure like if we're doing a trail on sunday and we meet like halfway through like we're definitely hanging out like saturday night yeah like, hey let's 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 hang out on Saturday night. Which, I mean, I think we could make that even happen. Be like, hey, like, we'll meet you there Saturday night when you get off work. Just come over. We'll get a hotel. Well, now that he's know that we're down to, like, pretty much just hang out and, like, do that type of stuff. Like, mm -hmm. he'll, he'll probably, he'll, like, travel halfway, too. So, like, we could meet yeah. somewhere in Idaho or there yeah. or wherever. So, it'll be fun. So, <laughs> what, like, what Mary is doing right now, she is developing solid relationships throughout the country to where wherever we go we'll have friends we'll have friends a hundred percent we're not gonna have friends where we're at but wherever we go we'll have friends which is a bonus mm -hmm. but anyway yep. thank you guys for yeah. coming along on our adventure we'll be reminisce about having a good weekend because this weekend's been a little rough so yeah, we, we decided not to talk about this weekend. We're, we're probably going to keep a, like our rough weekends probably to ourselves. to ourselves for now on. Because it's like rinse and repeat. Yep. And it's late. It is late. You guys don't want to hear us bitching about friend or family and I don't know. Anyway. Same shit, just a different day. Yeah. Different. I mean, because everyone has that shit. You know, yep. like. Mary and John should just set boundaries. Yep. Ha. <laughs> yeah, right. Anyway, we love you guys. Happy Saturday. Happy I hope y'all are having a great week. Have a good one. Bye.